in the first place, maybe just introduce yourself to all the listeners of South Sudan. Oh, so my name is Wenyan Gabriel. I'm from South Sudan. This is my first time returning home. And I spent most of my life in the United States. And basketball has changed my life. And I, I, I truly believe it's more than a game. Uh, the bonds created through this and the different things they can do for your people. And I'm proud to bring it here and see how it's going to inspire the kids of our country. So what are you here for today? Uh, today, the last three days, we've had a basketball camp. We're trying to improve basketball in this country, trying to tap into the potential. We have some of the tallest people in Africa and with most, some of the most resilient people in Africa. Um, we're just lacking resources and opportunity, but we don't lack the talent. And I think for these kids to see that someone that's like them, that's made it to the next level, I think it's important for them to believe that they can make it as well. And so they can give their all into this sport and know that there's a lot of love that comes with this sport. And uh, do you think you have achieved your mission? I, de I, I believe I've overachieved on this mission. Um, I didn't come with high expectations. I just came here to see how it was here at first. Um, I mean, I didn't have, it was just an initiative. There wasn't too much outside support. All I have is the people in the country here that are supporting me. So everything you see here is came from the people that were here. I didn't come here with a lot. I just came here with an idea and a mission and a vision and a vision to grow this country. I believe that all of us who are refugees and even the people who are here that are all around who are South Sudanese, it's our responsibility to build this country. We, our people, this land was not free. We fought for this land. We paid the price in blood. And now it's our turn to, to build this country and take care of it. When did you leave South Sudan, by the way? Tell us. I was a child. I was born in Khartoum. Uh, after five months, I moved to Egypt and in Cairo. Two years later, we came in, into the United States. And that's where I grew up. So is your first time to come to South Sudan? This is my very first time in South Sudan. Yeah? Yes, sir. This is my very first time home. And to have to, this type of receiving, this type of welcoming, it, I, I don't even know if this is real life right now. This is amazing. And I feel so, I have butterflies in my stomach and I just feel so proud right now. I cannot wait to come back and, and do so much more. And I, I'm looking forward to the rest of us who are in, around the world. People like myself, we don't know that it was safe to be here. You know, they, we are told too many different things through the media that it's a war torn, it's not safe. Can't come home. This is my message to all of us who are around the world to come back and help build this country. Which team do you play? Huh? Do you play for? Right now, I currently play for Los Angeles Lakers. LA Lakers. Yes, sir. All right. Did you expect these kids to be as good as they are right now? They, these kids, I expected, I didn't know what to expect, honestly. I didn't come here with too many expectations, but a lot of these kids have exceeded my expectations, and I know some of these kids can make it to the, to the NBA. But not every, it's not always about playing to the NBA. There's so much more that comes through this sport, and I think that as long as we invest into this sport, we're going to see the positive outcome to the rest of the country, and I think it's a very good way to bring peace. Okay, after the three day comes, what, uh, what, uh, what are the new books? Oh, there's every almost everything in the, needs to be worked on. We we can we need to work on everything. You know, whether it's facilities, even having basketballs, jerseys, shoes, training sessions through throughout the country. You know, we need to have consistent training for you to for us to reach the next level. But it's about the youth. It's, it might not be this group. It could be the group after and every single year coming up. As long as we continue to go into the right direction, I think that's more important than how fast we're moving. As long as we're going in the right direction. Okay. What are your plans after these three days so far? This is the last day today. What are your next plans after today? Um, well, personally, I'm going to go visit um, the Mangala refugee camp and then another refugee camp nearby. And then towards the end of the week, I'm going to go back to my hometown for the first time in Rumbek. And that's where I'm from, the Lake State. So I'm going to see there for my first time. So when I come back here, I know my first mission, I need to build a court in Rumbek. And there's a, a plenty of things that we need to do here. So I'm going to regroup with my team. And we're going to look at how we're going to attack this and how we're going to build. Okay, with the, with the plans that you people as world leaders and as an Eli and, and uh, when you uh, uh, come, uh, have you guys achieved whatever you came through like through these three days? Yes, yes, we've definitely achieved that. Um, I came here with my friend, good friend, Majak Winyan, we grew up with. He does uh, grassroots and he deals with the young Sudanese kids in America, and that's how this started. You know, I helped support him with that. And then we came here with um, Jacob, Jacob Idra, and he works with Ross Leaders. He was the founder of that, and it helps kids with a lot of the off the court things in America because a lot of times, after when we're done playing, kids don't know what to do after that. So that's another program that we look to focus on mental health, different things of financial literacy, trying to get into school and different things like that for the kids so I think everything we do is by investing into the youth because they're the future they're the ones that are going to build this country. Okay. 
with the uh, with the with the with the camp and all this stuff have they like that mindset you came with from the US and whatever you found on the ground like is it much different? I mean it's different but these kids when I came here I don't know who exactly was working with them, but these kids were already very disciplined. These kids, they don't play, they don't complain, and they work very hard. Those are that's a recipe for success. We come over here with the different tactics on how to teach them to do it the right way. I see nothing but success coming in the future. Okay, today you you start greeting people, and you start with people with disability, and everybody was happy with you when you start greeting them. What was your feeling? I mean, it's a surreal feeling. I mean, even the last few years of my life. It's been a lot of things happening that, like, seeing God has been blessing me, and this just feels like one of the biggest blessings God's have done, even more. I almost feel like I want to cry with tears of joy. I mean, even the first lady is here today, and I feel so, so proud of my country and my people, and I see that they're proud of me too. It makes me want to go back and work even a hundred times harder. So that's how I feel. That's why I wanted to go greet everybody, see everybody, learn their names, and know that we are all family. We all look the same. When I go to America, I feel exiled sometimes. You know, I'm real. They look at me like I'm really dark or I'm tall. People look at me like I'm very different. When I come here, we all look the same, and it feel like I'm at home. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you. you. And You're welcome. We will talk again.